Hi guys, it's Joe here from Rufio. Welcome to the channel. If this is your first time here, you should go ahead and hit subscribe before you realise what a stinking fucking mess this channel is. And if this is not your first time on the channel, you may want to give your head a wobble. But in either case, thank you very much for coming here. I do appreciate you being here and watching my videos. For today's video, we are going to be doing a bit of a ban list, wish list. We're going to be much less talking about what I think Konami will do versus what I think they should do in the sense of what I'd like to see happen. Because really, as Yu-Gi-Oh players, all it boils down to is what we want. That's right, I don't really care what the rest of you want, I just want my own goddamn ban list. So Konami, if you're out there listening, you should be listening to me. But I digress, let's get stuck into what you're really here for. Oh, just one more thing before we do continue. If you are looking for some Yu-Gi-Oh singles, or even some Pokemon ones as well, you should check out the channel sponsors over at Jam Jam Cards UK. There'll be a link in the description to their eBay store, and you can get yourself a cheeky discount on their cards. Before we begin talking about what I'd like to do, I'd like to mention that I've got a giveaway coming up. Konami have been awesome and sent me some cool cards over, so I'm going to be giving those out. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out on your opportunity to get yourself some free swag. So the first thing we're going to do, we're just going to talk about the cards that I feel need to get hit on the list in some capacity. Whether you agree or not, that's entirely up to you. I'd love to hear down in the comments exactly what you think. What we'll do after that is we'll go through the list and we'll take a look and see what cards I feel need to be brought off the list. Again, this is just an opinion piece of cards that I'd like to see all bias involved. So the first card I feel that needs to go get it the fuck out of my format is VFD. Card is just a rambling mess. I've been saying for absolutely ages that I wanted it to go. And when someone like me, who fucking loves Mystic Mine, says the VFD needs to go, VFD needs to go. Next up is S0Zex. So again, another bullshit card similar ilk to VFD. In fact, you can throw Kali Yuga in there as well. The three of those fuckers can go elsewhere and live in another format. If you want to play those cards anymore, you better be playing retro. In all seriousness, though, I'm not a big fan of monster effects that just absolutely blanket shut the game down. So fuck those cards. They can absolutely go and do one. And then the only other actual hit I have on this list here is Ben 10. I think Dry trying to do in really, really well. And I think it's too early to absolutely you cripple them so maybe just hit that card down to one just so that it's a bit of a consistency hit but honestly i don't think it will happen and then as promised for the next part of the video we're going to go and take a look through that list and see what cards i would take off again i think this is just a really good time for konami to get experimental and this is exactly what i think they should be doing as a worst case scenario, if they bring a bunch of stuff off that I think really can come off and it's absolutely fucking crazy, they can hit it again before the physical events return. So it's a really good window of opportunity for them to get a bit experimental and that's what I believe that they should be doing. I understand that there is still a bit of a format going on, of course, because people are playing remote duels and all of that good stuff. But honestly, I think when physical in-person events are back or when you've got to really start to worry about balancing the format and all that good stuff, instead for now, let's just... Bring a bunch of stuff off the list and just see what happens. So, of course, for a good portion of this video, you're going to see me looking down at the screen. Of course, I'm taking a look at exactly what the list is. So let's go ahead and take a look at exactly what's going on here. And we'll take a look and see what I feel needs to change. It's worth noting that I'm recording this a few days ahead. just so the 27th of February at the time of recording. I know that the list could drop any day from the 1st. Of course, we could get it early and I could get absolutely cucked. So if this... Happens to come out after the list has been released. Look at this is what I would have liked to have seen happen. And if it's not out yet, well, then it's about the future. So, of course, we're taking a look down the list here. And the 1st of March is the date that this can become legal from when these changes are made. So, of course, we start off with the ban list itself. Uh, there's a whole bunch of stuff to go through here. Uh, many of these definitely need to stay on there. There's no question of that. Uh, so, Astrograph needs to stay on there. Gofu needs to stay on there. Steam the Cloak needs to stay on there. Uh, Blaster is one that could potentially come off, in my opinion. Just to, again, the other Dragon Ruler that's come off has done absolutely nothing. So, I think that this could go to one and probably get a bit experimental and be absolutely absolutely fine. Block Dragon needs to stay, no question about that. Cyber Jar can stay on there. Dandelion I absolutely love, but honestly, it, it probably needs to stay on there as well. Much the same for Destrudo. Uh, Gin Release of Rituals, similar sort of thing. We're seeing a lot of uh, relevant support for that coming out, so of course we don't want to see that back in the game. Dragon Buster Destruction Sword is another one of these oppressive cards that just needs to stay on the list. Eclipse Wyvern, and honestly, I'll bring it back to one. I honestly don't think it would do fuck all. Fairy Tale Snow, yes please, we'll take it at three. We'll take it at three, no questions asked. Give me fairy tale snow. Fiber Jar can stay on there, bullshit card. Fishborg, bullshit card. Glove Bowl, bring it back to one, I don't care. Grind the Golem can stay on there. Jet Synchron can stay on there. Level Eater can stay on there. 
Loot like Tiger, bring it back. It's fine. Put it to one. It'll be no problem at all. Magical Scientist can stay there. Kieran can fuck off. Masterpiece can fuck off as well. Maxi, bring it back to three. Bring it back to three. Bring it back to three. Honestly, it's fine. Bring it back to three. No problemo. You can let everyone do all their crazy combo stuff. You don't need to oppress them anymore. You'll have Maxi. If people want to do the deck out challenge, that's absolutely fine. If they can't deck you up, they just lose the next turn and it's their own damn fault. O-Line, I guess, can stay on there. I don't really fucking care anymore. My Master can stay on there. Harp Horror, bring it back and go to one. Absolutely no problem. It won't do anything. Plush Fire, Monkey Board, Skullcrabat, Joker. I really don't know enough about them to really comment. As far as I know, Skullcrabat, Joker could come back to one and be absolutely fine and not cause any real issues. I don't know about the other two. I think Plush Fire, the issue is that it, it, it can, it's that whole not a hard once per turn issue, if I'm not mistaken. But again, I'm spitballing here, so I may have got that wrong. Amrilis can stay on there. I don't fucking care. Redox needs Needs to stay on there. Sam Sorrelotus needs to stay on there. Master Plan needs to stay on there. Substitute needs to stay on there. Neptune needs to stay on there. Tidal, mm, yeah, it probably, yeah. You know what? It, it could come back. Just do it to one. Just do it to one. Uh, Victory Dragon, yeah, that can stay banned. Yatagarasu is an interesting one. This uh, this sort of splits people. It's a little bit along the lines of Max C. Uh, honestly, it probably could come back. Uh, I don't know whether anyone would play it. But I've got that horrible sinking feeling that I know that if it did, there'd be some motherfucker out there who just goes ahead and breaks a deck that's built around getting it out, resolving its effect, and then they just win the game. So I'm not too sure how to feel about Yatagarasu personally. I'd err on the side of caution with this one and say that it needs to stay banned. Norden probably just needs to stay on there. Uh, Supreme King starving fucking venom ass motherfucker needs to stay on there. Colossus, I personally would like to see it back at one but I don't think it's likely to happen. It's a bit of an oppressive card. There's lots of people have been talking about this and that they'd like to see it come back. Um, the problem with it is, is that it gets abused way too much in, uh, in, in combo decks that can just fit in any kind of small thunder engine and get away with it. That's the real issue for me with this card. Personally, I'd like to see it back at one, but I don't really think it's likely to happen. Then again, we are doing a list about what I'd like to see happen, so fuck it. Let's bring it back. Colossus to one, boys. Let's go. Fireball Dragon, we know the Arata's coming, it's coming off the list, and nobody fucking cares. Uh, Agapan can fuck off. Electromite, bring it back. Bring it back. Pendulums are... Pendulums are fucking garbage anyway. Honestly, you can have Electromite back and it won't make a damn bit of difference. Nightmare Goblin can stay banned. I love the card, but it really needs to stay there. Mermaid is much the same. Lincross can stay. Summon Sorceress can stay. And Gumlock can definitely fucking stay on the list. Ancient Fairy Dragon, honestly, I, I think it'd be fine at one. I really do think it would be fine. I don't think it's that crazy. Am, am I being stupid? Who knows? Long Dong the Yang Zing motherfucker, he can come off. Put him to one. He's not a problem. MX Saber Invoker, let's fucking do it. Bring it back. Bring it back. Bring it back to one. I don't care. Bring it back to one. The Varvel Chain probably should stay on there. Shockmaster definitely needs to stay on there. Galaxy Tomahawk can stay on there. Rongo Bongo can stay on there. Uh, Galaxy Eyes Dark Matter Motherfucker can stay on there. Azathoth can stay on there. Mirage Stalio, bring it back. Give him one. It'll be no problem at all. Uh, Telenite probably should stay on there. Zenmei can come off, but I know there's another problematic card that you probably have to hit again. I don't know an awful lot about Wind Up, so don't hold me to that, but I'm pretty sure Zenmei can come off, and there's another card that needs to go back on. Broad Ball's a bit of a weird one. I hear lots of people say it's broken and crazy. Honestly, I wasn't around for the format when it was here, um, but from what I can see, it would probably be fine at one anyway and cause no issues, but I'm probably going to get crucified for saying that. Brilliant Fusion... Personally, I'd love to see it come back, but I don't think it's going to happen. Uh, Elmer can stay on there. Card of Safe Return definitely needs to stay on there. Change Heart needs to stay on there. Chicken Game, Cold Wave, Confiscation, Delinquent Duo, Dimension Fusion can all stay on there. Trunade? Uh, I don't know how to feel about Trunade. I think maybe Trunade could come back to one. I honestly don't think that's too crazy. Uh, Heavy Storm absolutely cannot fucking come back. Absolutely not. Graceful Charity is not going to happen either. Kaiser Coliseum? No way. Last Will? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it's not coming back. Mass Driver, no. Metamorphosis, no. Mirage Nightmare, no. Painful Choice, absolutely not. It would be amazing, though. Pot of Greed, yeah, that's fucking crazy, man. Draw two cards, wild. It needs to stay. Uh, Premature Burial, honestly, could probably come back and be absolutely fine. Uh, rank Up Magic, boy, yeah. Any Rank Up Magic card's usually bullshit, so that can stay on there. It may not happen, though. Engage needs to stay on there. The card's bullshit. Smoke Grenade of the Thief can stay on there. Slash Steel can stay on there. Soul Charge can stay on there. Spellbook Judgment can stay on there. That Grass Look Screener, give me three. Give me three Grass Look Screener. I will absolutely be stoked. Forceful Century can stay banned. Last Turn can stay banned. Return from Different Dimension. Royal Oppression. Self-Destruct Button. Sixth Sense. Time Seal. 
could all stay banned. Time seal, to be fair, actually probably could come off and not make a fucking damn bit of difference. It's way too goddamn slow. There'd be some motherfucker that goes out there and makes a really annoying deck built around it, but honestly, it, I don't think it would make that much difference. Trap does shoot, honestly, is it any worse than the Pointer of the Red Lotus? Good question to ask. Personally, I'd be in favour of Dust Shoot coming off at 1. People may disagree. But again, this is my list, so fuck it. We're having Dust Shoot at 1, boys. Ultimate Offering can fuck off. That's not happening. Vanity's Emptiness, definitely not. Okay, we're on to the limits here. All the Exodia pieces, if you want to play 3 of each, honestly, Godspeed, you're a fucking idiot. <laughs> you can put it in 3 each, it really wouldn't make a difference. But they're not going to. It's that whole, like, you know... It's so big and powerful <laughs> nonsense, so of course it'll stay at one. Armageddon Knight needs to stay at one, I think that's fair. Collapse Serpent, uh, yeah, that needs to stay at one. Cyber Stein can stay at one. Dangerous, you could probably bump these up to two and it really wouldn't make a damn bit of difference. Yeah, seriously, I just said that. I don't think it would make a damn bit of difference. Graffin needs to stay at one, it's just pseudo Armageddon Knight. Dynamite Knight, give him three. True Draco is a dead deck. If someone wants to go and play the bad motherfucking deck at their locals... Let them go and do it. Let them go and do it. Nobody is playing that deck without Diagram. Pancratops. I love this card. Honestly, I'd love to see it in more than one, but I don't think it's going to happen. Uh, Double Iris Magician's fine where it is. Exodia, whatever. Gen X Ally Birdman. Does it do anything? Does anybody actually play this fucking card? I think I've tried it out in like one deck one time and it did nothing. Inferno Archfiend, I don't know anything about it, so I don't fucking care. Morphing Jar, honestly, whatever. Night Assailant, yeah, it's loops, so it needs to stay there. Sky Blaster can stay on there. Red Eyes Darkness Metal Dragon. Uh, with the new Arata, I don't know. Maybe you could bring it off to more than that, but if we want to play it safe, it'll stay limited. Gazelle needs to stay at one, I agree with that. Servant of Endymion can stay at one. Terra Top, bring it off, I don't care. Quick Fix, bring it off, I don't care. Tempest does nothing, so you could probably bring it off and it wouldn't matter. Litho, nobody plays it, but I guess maybe if it was that more people would. Uh, Wyver Burster can stay on there. Rapier, <laughs> definitely didn't mean to say it like that. Rapier can stay at one. Master Diamond can fuck off. Bardish is fine at one, honestly, no problem at all. Uh, Deloran, is anyone going to play it if it's at more than one anyway? Probably not. Uh, much the same for Ignista. Would anyone play more than one? I, I, I Honestly, I don't think it would see the play. Omega, yeah, we can definitely keep that one. I think hand looping is bullshit. Hyper Librarian gets a bit crazy, so that needs to stay on there. Trishula for much the same reason. Beatrice, bring it back to three. I've got everything else now that I need. Just give me three Beatrice so I can play BA, pure BA, and have a great fucking time. Digusto Emerald, again, it's that whole loopy thing, which I can see why they don't want it off. I think Dryden is fine at one. I think if it did come off, it wouldn't make much of a difference. But let's keep it at one to play safe. Okay, the long list of spells. Let's go. A Heroes Lives can stay at one. Call by the Grave can go to three. Absolutely no problem there. Card Destruction, you could probably put at three and it wouldn't make a damn bit of difference. Card of Demise needs to stay at one. Chain Strike can stay at one. D Fisher can stay at one. Divine Wind of Mist Valley, whatever. Draco Face Off, don't care. Diagram, don't care, can stay at one. Emergency Teleport. Put it to two. Let's get exciting. Final Countdown can stay at one. It's one of those fucking bullshit cards. Foolish Burial can stay at one. It's broken. Gateway of the Six can stay at one. Gold Star can stay at one. Feather Duster can stay at one. Infinity Launcher, don't care. Instant Fusion probably should stay at one. Into the Void can stay at one. Midbreaker Field definitely staying at one. Mind Control at one is absolutely fine. Reborn at one is fine. One Day Peace is fine at one. One for one is fine at one. Regeki, you can probably put it to three and nobody would fucking care. Reasoning, yeah, it should probably stay at one. Rota definitely needs to stay at one. Circle, yeah, it needs to stay at one. Scapegoat at one, definitely. Seca's Light, <coughs> give me three. Let's go. Give me three Seca's Light. Absolutely, fucking lootly every day of the week. Set Rotation can stay at one. Horde of Drones can stay at one. Multi-roll can definitely stay at one. Slash Draw definitely needs to stay at one. Resort, honestly, you could probably take it off. Maybe go to two if you wanted to get really crazy. But honestly, I don't think it would make a damn bit of difference. The deck is dead. Similar Heritage can stay on there. Terraforming at one. Honestly, do you know what? I was really, really upset when this card got hit. Uh, and actually, I, I think it's fine. I think at one, it's absolutely fine. There's been no real uh, craziness. I understand Konami kind of wanted to curb the whole uh, field spell thing getting out of whack. And it was getting out of whack at one point. So I think at one is absolutely fine. It probably should stay there. Light Stage, bring it back to three. Honestly, I think Konami's just forgotten about the card. Upstart Goblin, give me three. Give me three Upstart Goblin. 
I want to play a 37 card deck. Or at the very least, give me three grass so I can play 60. Zodiac Barrage, you can definitely bring it up to two with no issues there. Imperial Order needs to stay at one. Macrocosmos can stay at one. Magical Explosion definitely needs to stay at one. Metaverse, stay at one. Red Reboot, eh, I don't know how to feel about that card. Honestly, I was very upset when it got hit, but, you know, the sum formatter is just so fucking crazy. Another formatter just does absolutely nothing. Skill Drain probably needs to stay at one. Wall of Revealing Light. I don't actually understand why that's on here. Okay, so on to the rest of our list, and there is very little on there. Of course, we go to our semi-limits. We have Destiny Hero Malicious can definitely stay at two. And True King's Return at two. Honestly, you could bump it up to three. And again, nobody would fucking play it because nobody is playing True Draco. And that, ladies and gentlemen, concludes today's video. Thank you very much for coming along. I do really appreciate it. You're one of them fucking weirdos who's made it to the end of the video. Now, whether that's because you really enjoyed the content you're a fucking weirdo. Or because you absolutely hated it that you couldn't look away. Hopefully, in either case, you've hit subscribe. But if that isn't enough motivation for you to do so, remember, we have a giveaway coming up soon. Uh, I'll bring you all the details of that when the video is released. So make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on an opportunity to get yourself some free Yu-Gi-Oh! goodies. As a side note as well, you'll notice if you are subscribed to the channel that we've had a lot of deck profiles. That is because the well is a little bit dry due to the whole thing that's going on in the world that I can't say without getting demonetized. But also the fact that there's just no locals or anything like that to go to for me. So currently, we are just churning out that kind of content. But do expect variety again in the future. Make sure you stay subscribed so you get a good dose of what you need. But that's enough nonsense from me. You've definitely been here long enough if you made it to this part of the video. So go on your merry way. I'll see you in the next one. This content is brought to you in association with my buddies over at Jam Jam Cards UK. You can find the links to the eBay store and the Facebook page in the description.